Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I just wanted to go over a few items that I have bought to go in my bug out bags. So if you didn't know and you're new to the channel, I am in the process of making the ultimate survival bag or bug out bag, whatever you want to call it. It's going to cover everything and these items here are going to be going in there. So I've got three of each. Um, not three of each, sorry. One of each, but for, 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 but for three people. Um, for free kits because I'm making free kits. So these are shovels here and these here are going to be foldable little stoves. Uh, I'm going to build one of each and just show you guys. But before we get into the video I do just want to say thank you to the members on screen. If you want to join me as a member you can. It's 99p per month. Or it is just a one-off payment you can cancel anytime. Also, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to uh, like this video um, and subscribe to my channel. I really want to push getting 2k subscribers this year. And yeah, so if you guys can help me get 2k subscribers, that would be awesome. Also, uh, my Discord server it will be in the description if you want to join. So, let's start with the shovels. So, I'm just going to pick one at random. Let's go for the middle one. So... These shovels uh, cost around about, I think it was about £7 on eBay. Um, they ain't big. Um, they are really small shovels. Um, I, I, I don't really know what I wanted. Um, I didn't want to spend like £13 on a shovel, um, which was like a really big one. But I didn't really want a small one. But then I just went with a small one. So it comes in a nice carrying case. I'm guessing this is a DPM camo woodland camo which comes with a belt clip here um another reason i have got these is because i bought a metal detector now i don't really know anything about metal detecting i probably just picked one random on ebay uh, on amazon um i don't know how good it is but uh for when i go on my survival weekends if you do want to see me do some metal detecting videos um tell me in the comments below and leave a like so, like I said, the shovel comes in this nice little DPM bag. Um, it all, it's also got two different things. It's got like some sort of pick here and then it's got the shovel with a serrated edge here. Um, serrated edge here and it also has a bottle opener, which is pretty cool. Also has a compass on here as well. Now, I don't know how good these, this compass is, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's there if you need it. So, it is just a screw on screw on little handle which is cool and then you use this bolt here to basically select what tool you want so if you just want the pick out like so you just do it at a certain angle tighten the bolt down that's gonna work you may you may have to have both of them out no there we go and then you've just got just the pick which is pretty cool which can just dig up the ground or um if you'd rather just have the shovel out uh, let me just do that you can either have the shovel like that I don't know why you'd want that or you can have it a straight edge um, then we just do it with the bolt do it with the bolt like so and there is the shovel it's not very big um, I wish I did get the bigger version. Um, the bigger version was like, you know, you had this handle and then it was like really, really big. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's it's all right for like a, a small little shovel. Also, you can also have it um, like this and turn it into like a pickaxe. Um, so, you know, so then you've got the pick on this side to get the ground up or whatever. And then you just have like the scooping ground and stuff like that. Um, that is the shovel though. Uh, I like it. I think I think it will do me good. Uh, with I don't know really what we're going to be doing, but again, th this will be good uh, for my bug out bag. And uh, if I want to do uh, metal detecting, it will be a good uh, useful tool as well. Now going into the little uh, stoves, pick one at random again. The middle one, sure why not? If you didn't see my live stream I did the other day, uh, I built I built this on live stream and it took me about five minutes to figure out because they slot into each other. Um, I think I have found like a good way of doing it now. Um, so these are the tops. Nope, like that, like that. And they go in like that. Um, and then you've got this side. That one goes in like that. 
uh, and then you get this little bit here which is where you put your uh, stuff on um, that has three uh, three different layers you can either have it at the bottom the middle or the top I am going to have mine at the I've done this one wrong that is the front uh, that's where I keep making the mistakes I keep putting the front on first you don't want to put the front on There we go, and then we can put this bit in here, it's just, that one just slots in these little holes, like so, I built it upside down, I knew, I was, I knew I'd do this, I, I built it upside down, I will get, I'll get there one day where I build it uh, first try really good, um, maybe, maybe in the future. Uh, slot them in like that there we go that's pretty cool you could use it just like that really if you wanted to um, if, you, if you want to and then you get the last bit and this one's a hard one because you need to try slot them in um, yeah because you've got to tr basically f do that like that and then you just got to try do it in like that without breaking the metal Unless I'm unless I've done it wrong, um, which wouldn't be a surprise. And then you do them up like that. So it's not going in. There we go. I have built it. It's a little bent. There we go. I've built it. There we go. That's cool. That's cool. That that is really like sturdy after a while as well. And then with these ones, you just put them on like this on the corners, like so. And then you get the other one which slots in that little hole there, like that. And then you put your. I don't have anything on me, but let's say this tape measure is a bottle. I actually have a bowl right here. I have a pepper pig bowl that I ate some popcorn from, like that. Just put it on. Put it on top. And then put your fire under there and you can warm up your food. Now, um, thank you again for watching this video. Sorry it was like a, um, it wasn't a long video. But what do you guys think of my new shovels and my new furnaces? Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later. Bye.